Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to configure your company profile, company local setting, company time zone, language, business hours, your fiscal year. All these are important for you to understand. To start with, I have logged into my developer sandbox. You can see this is my home tab. I'll go to setup which is available on my top right hand side. Friends, if you are a system administrator or if you have administrator permission, then only you can see this hyperlink setup. I'll click on setup and quick find. I will type company. So here you will see section under administrator company profile. So first is company information where you can see those detail. You, you can see your licensing detail. You can see data use usage you can see your file usage the next option is fiscal year so here you can set up your financial year then third option is business hour so here you can set up your business hour if you are working between 9 to 5 9 to 6 if you are not working on weekends then you can set up those business hour in holidays if there is any public holiday which you don't want to consider in your SLAs, then you can set up those holiday calendars. And last option is language setting. If you want to enable your multi language in Salesforce. So for example, if your end user is in Germany, who want to use Salesforce in German, and another users are working from UK who want to use Salesforce in English. So in that scenario, you can set up multi-language. So first, we'll start with company information. When you click on company information, you can see your company org, org level details, your org organization name, the primary contact. This is my developer sandbox. So you may say limited user license, two Salesforce license, three platform license. Permission sets license, featured license details. So I can see my license, how many license I have used, how many license are still remaining. So I can create new user. Since this is my developer edition, you can see organization edition is developer edition. I can see my space, data space usage. I can see my file use space usage. I can see my company level time zone. I can see my currency local, which is USD as of now. Default language, English. Default local, United States. So friends, remember, you can set up this at organization level as well as at your individual user level. So at company level, your language may be English, but at end user level, your language may be different. That's the reason I'm saying Salesforce support multi-language and multi-currency functionality. Similarly, like here at company level, your currency is USD, but at end user level, it can be different. So we'll try to change this information. We'll click on edit. We'll change organization name. Let's give some names. Salesforce training operation. This is my organization name. I'm going to keep primary contacts same. I'll update my city. State details. And country is India. Now I'll change my local. If you can see when I've opened this developer sandbox, default time zone was PST. I will change it to IST. And I will change my currency local from USD to INR. So all those opportunity amount, all amount, all currency field will reflect with INR. If you want to enable multi-currency, then you can check this checkbox so that your company level currency is INR, but your end user 
if they are operating from different location from japan from singapore from dubai from uk then they can have their own currency settings but whenever you are looking at organization level report you can always see that is getting converted in inr based on the exchange rate you will set up so for that i am going to create a separate video how to set up multi currency so i'll save this so i have changed my local setting now currency local is inr default time zone is ist now we'll move to next option which is a fiscal year financial year so here you can have standard fiscal year which is starting from specific month you can set up that select that month or you can create a custom fiscal year so for this you need to enable custom fiscal year in your org here you can set up your custom fiscal year but i'm not going to cover this in this video so this is what is my fiscal year settings now next option is on business hour so if you want to change your business hour default business hour we can see it's showing time zone pst will change to ist so we can say we are supporting working in ist time zone and we are working between 9 to 5 pm so we are working every day between 9 to 5 pm I'll click on save. So this is what is my default business hour. But if you want to create a separate business hour based on your sales pro uh, support process, then you can have a business uh, different business hours in your one org. So that is very much possible. Then we'll go to holiday. Here you can set up your holiday. So I have already set up Republic Day. you can see that so it is on 26th of 2007 and it is going to be a recurring holiday so it is yearly event on every january 26th so you can see i have entered start date but there is no end date i have selected because this is going to be a recurring holiday event if you want to enter specific holiday for that particular year then you can and check this checkbox and then you can select time and date so we try to create new holiday so here I, i'll give some name fun do friday holiday which we are planning on 27 so i'm not going to select a recurring holiday and instead of all day i'll mention time that will be just for 2 hours so my business hour if you remember 9 to 5 i'll say from 3 to 5 we'll celebrate fun do friday and that's going to be a holiday in my calendar so it will not consider those 2 hours in my sla or any escalations rule and if you want to add business hour for that specific day then you can add or you can use your default business hour so this is about holiday setting and here you can see your language setting display language english is your end user language enable platform only language so there are different language setup which we are going to cover in our next video thank you for watching this video